you guys, this is the problem that we're all facing right now. This, since you updated your Mac, you may see this annoying thing. The way to get rid of it is to go into this website. Okay, it's from Apple, so it's legit, supportapple.com. Okay, so type that into your browser. And uh, if you can't open in Safari like you should, just go into Chrome or Safari, sometimes that happens. Anyways, from there, just click on download. Okay, first of all, just click on OK for now. Uh, next time you restart your Mac, you will not see that problem ever again. So it's gonna download, okay? So that's the latest Java, so don't worry about it. And this should work just fine. You sh I shouldn't have any problems after we install this. This doesn't take that much time to install or download. It does depend on your download speed. Right now it's pretty slow, so that's why it's gonna take a little bit. But uh, other than that, this will fix your problem. Just check out in the links uh, right here in the details. Just uh, click on details and you will see the link where you can download this, okay? Um, when you press on more information, technically, it should lead you to the correct Java, but it doesn't always work. I know with the other OS, okay, before El Capitan, it, that one didn't work either. And uh, we are getting this Java thing again for El Capitan whether you have beta or not you will get this annoying thing okay right now it's for beta version once the original one comes out you guys will get another link but uh if you guys already done this okay for the beta it should work for the real version anyways um i'm gonna show you the process just uh, installing this it's not hard at all and we're gonna get through it okay so here's the package you just double click on it it should open up okay once again, once you're downloading these type of things, Java, just download it from Apple directly. Don't go into any other third party type of fixes. There's no need to, okay? You can download anything like this from Apple directly. And I suggest doing so. Uh, so let's just type in a temporary password there. And this should install pretty fast. And like I said, to test it out, just restart your Mac and you'll see that you won't see that ever again. Now I know it's not just for you guys that are starting up your Mac and it's annoying, you're getting that message every single time. Uh, some of you are getting it for other reasons. This will fix that problem, okay? Whether you're getting every time you open Safari or every time you open a certain app, this will fix that problem. Um, it's just a matter of installing the right Java, okay? Uh, this is 2015. There was the 2014 version that was for the other OS, Yosemite. But uh, this El Capitan, you need a new Java, okay? So once again, whether you're getting um, the official release of El Capitan or the beta version, this will fix that problem. Um, for those of you who are running beta version, uh, as you can see, there's not that many huge glitches, uh, but there is a bunch of software that will not work just because they haven't made the updates. It's not really Apple's fault, it's the... The company, for example, Canon, Canon Utility does not work. It's just because Canon hasn't updated. And they won't update, not even when the official release will come out from El Capitan. They will not update. They will update way later, okay? Um, we're talking about one or two months, even three months after the release of the new OS. Canon will actually go and update all their software. But uh, they usually take that amount of time, so just watch out for that when you're doing that. Um, and just in case, if you guys do want to go back into the OS before this one, El Capitan, you can do it. The easiest way is to do it with Time Machine. And uh, hopefully you guys set that up before you update it, so you guys can go back really, really easily. I do have a video showing you how to do that, how to revert from El Capitan. If you have a lot of glitches, a lot of apps are not working, you may want to do that. Anyways, for this video, that's it. Um, I was hoping to talk through the whole process of installing this, but anyways, once you install it, you just click OK and that's it. Anyways, if you guys have any questions, comments, you can write them here below in the comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.